what about world relief and the way that world relief goes about this work stands out to you you know there's there's many actors both christian ngos and other ngos and churches and volunteer groups and all of this kind of thing there's many people involved in this kind of work within rwanda and certainly globally what really stands out to you about world relief why are you excited to participate or, or to work for world relief in particular mm -hmm. yeah what excites me really um is the deep conviction and belief that uh, is within the organization mm. that there is no better way we can really bring true transformation bring true community transformation if we are not with the church so our conviction about the local church its role and the authority that is divine behind that uh, brings true community transformation in a holistic way that is something uh, that is very uh, dear to my heart but also that the whole organization has embraced we love the church we are serious about the church we trust the church and we know the church is the hope of the world mm -hmm. to bring true um, restoration uh, but we also are very aware of um, the way we do community transformation that is integral that word and deed should be seamless that you cannot keep these uh, apart. And I think we've seen this, that uh, some interventions that are not integral in nature, that do not address the holistic needs of a family, that uh, eventually do not bring the lasting change. And that has been our journey to really make sure that when you look at transformation, that we, we use the hand model, most of uh, in our trainings, we yeah. have the six parts that really define how we look at work. And one is you're going to look at the mental needs, the social needs, the uh, relational needs, you're going to look at the economic needs, and then also the capacity to make choices, that the households have the ability to make choice. Mm. And then these fingers, the five of these will not really do anything if they're not uh, strong, they're not uh, bath out of uh, the palm which is the spiritual part mm, so we make yeah. sure that whatever programming is able to make sure that uh, we are addressing all the needs of man and then making sure that it is infused with the word of god uh, in everything that we do so that we can impact the social mental the economic and i think that's a unique way that we have put together still there's lots of work to do but at least there is a great effort and a desire to make sure that we're addressing the needs of a holistic person and then the third point is uh, we spend lots of time in our efforts at world relief really addressing the belief systems the value systems because once these have been transformed and aligned with the truth that's when you start to see through our community transformation we've mm -hmm. seen communities where you can go and bring water but people will not drink this water even though they, they lack access to clean water, but because of the belief systems, an example is one community where I worked, they could not draw water from a borehole because they believed water was from the underground and is of the evil. They would go past this water point and still draw water from the lake. So we've seen that as a core area for our programming and all the work that you that what are some of the belief systems, the value systems that reflecting what we are seeing in the community today and how do we undo that with mm. some good practices and some truth to make sure that there's lasting change so those would be the three points our love for the church our intentionality at a holistic um, development but also our desire to make sure that we are addressing the problems from the root causes